Welcome to another Daily Dose of Drupal. This is episode number 66 today, and as always, I'm Shane. Go ahead and follow me on Twitter at smthomas3, or sign up for the Code Karate newsletter. Today we're going to be going over how to implement and add drop-downs to your Drupal 7 website. There are a bunch of different drop-down modules that you can use to get started. The one we're going to look at today is the Nice Menus module. It's a pretty simple module that's used on a lot of sites and it gives you the basic structure for the drop-downs and then allows you to go ahead and CSS or add style to the drop-downs as you see fit. So it kind of gives you that basic template of the working drop-down and lets you run with it and make your own design. So I already have it installed on our test site here. So I'm going to come to the modules page and show you that it is installed and we can go ahead and start configuring it. As you can see it's installed. We're going to click configure and it asks you the number of blocks that you want. Nice menus is generally built using blocks so you can drop in a block wherever you want the drop down menu to show up and it will work. And You want to have this checked if you want it to fall back to JavaScript it works for older versions of Internet Explorer. Otherwise, it tries to use CSS for the dropdowns. It adds a delay and animation speed if you decide to use dropdowns or use JavaScript for the dropdowns. So you can change the animation speed to whatever you want. Change the mouse delay. You can go ahead and save that. The next step is then to well, first let's look at the menu structure. I just have a very simple one to show you how it works, but it obviously can be expanded out. I have three parent menu links and I have two sublinks in here. So what we want is essentially to be able to hover over the home link and have two items show up below it. So I'm going to show you one option. The first option is to use blocks, which is the easiest way to get started. You come down here and you look for this Nice Menus 1 or Nice Menu 2 block. Remember we defined that how many blocks we wanted in the configurations. I'm going to go ahead and add this to the header and save it. Then I'm going to click on Configure. You select which menu you want to show. In this case we want to show the main menu. You can give it a block title. I went ahead and set this as None. Menu Depth. You can show a certain number of levels. Negative 1 will show all the levels and what kind of style. Do you want the drop downs to pop out from the left, from the right, or do you want them to drop down? We'll go ahead and select down. So I will save this and I will come back to the home page. You'll notice I do have two menu items now, so or two main menus on my theme, so I could hide this other one by going into appearance, settings, and clicking on or unchecking the main menu saving it and now I'm uh, down to just one main menu so then it stops using the main menu from the theme and actually uses this block as the main menu as you can see the drop downs work exactly as you'd expect very simple if you had multiple levels it would drop down and then it would also be able to drop out as a quick example let's go ahead and show that see if it does indeed work You can see it goes ahead and you could have multiple levels, as many menu items as you really would need. I'm going to go ahead and change that back for now. Wrong menu there. Okay, and then I will save this. But what happens if you want to use the main menus or the primary menu from the theme? Let's say you didn't want to for some reason use this block. In most cases, using a block works just fine, but if for some reason you want to use the primary links or the main menu from the theme, there is a way to do that. I'm going to go ahead and turn this one back on. I am then going to get rid of this block over here. Just hide that. And now we need to get into the page.tpl.php file. That's one of the easiest ways to go ahead and get started with it. So, I have a sub-theme here, so I'm not using the base Drupal Bartik theme. I actually have a sub-theme going, so you'll want to first know which theme you're using, and you'll have to find the page.tpl.php file in your theme. In my case, I have this opened here, 
and it's in my sub theme. So this is the page.tpl file. I'm going to find the main menu section. You can see where it says if main menu. I'm going to go ahead and strip out this code here, this PHP code, and I'm going to replace it with a little snippet of nice menus code that's going to do what we need it to do to print out the primary menu or the main menu as a dropdown. So I opened the inside the nice menus module there's a readme.txt file. I would go ahead and take a look at that. It tells you some ideas on how to style it or how to use CSS and that's one thing that it's a little tricky if you don't know how the menu structure works so make sure to take a look at that. It's going to give you some helpful hints. It tells you right in here the basic menu structure but if you scroll down it tells you you can do some advanced theming so it allows you to use certain functions or override certain functions to theme your menus so there's a theme function called nice menus main menu and we're gonna make use of that so if you come in to the nice menus module inside hook theme you can see there's a nice menus main menu and if you're not a module developer, you're just trying to get basic drop downs, don't worry about all this. I'll give you the code and you can drop it in and it should work. So, basically, this function is going to need to take uh, an array of variables of uh, the direction. So, if you want to down, left, right, and the depth, and that's that depth drop down, which negative one will show all. Otherwise, you can specify a specific depth if you only want to show two levels, for instance, or only show one level of drop downs. So, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to declare a variable. And as I said before, if you're not a module developer and you still want to figure this out, you can go ahead and copy this code line by line and it should work. You just have to find the if main menu section of your page.tpl.php file inside your theme. So, direction, we're going to set that to down. And depth we're gonna set that to negative one you can change that to this to left or right here you can change this number to how, whatever you want to set your depth as and we're now gonna call a theme function we're gonna go ahead and just grab this here nice menus main menu because we are printing the main menu if you're using the secondary menu you can grab that one as well and then we have to pass in our variables array we also need to print this out. So if I save this, it should replace this with the nice menus menu. I'll go ahead and save that. And now you can see I have the nice menus menu working. The drop downs work just as it did before. It's sitting in the right place, right on, on the top of this line that goes across, and it just works right out of the box. You will have to, of course, steam this. It looks a little different. But just adding some CSS, you can fix that right up and make it look however you want. So that's it for this time on the Daily Dose of Drupal. I will be back again next time with another episode. As I said before, go ahead and follow me on Twitter if you're not. All right, thank you for watching. Bye.